here and welcome this evening to our Greater Destiny Ministries live stream Wednesday night Bible study. Mm -hmm. We welcome you. We thank God for you this evening. We pray that the Lord is blessing you as we prepare for our midweek service and pray that the Lord is blessing you in your home and your family. And as we always do, we start our service off with a word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Father God, we come before you this evening. Lord, thanking you for your many blessings, yes. your love and kindness, your tender mercy. Thank you, Thank you Lord, for making ways, mm -hmm. opening doors, and working miracles. Yes. You are a prayer answering God. We ask you to look down upon us today. Mm -hmm. Strengthen our will and our desire to please you and give us victory over everything that's not like you. Find the adversary that would seek to come against us. We bind the forces of evil in your mighty name. Lord, this evening we pray for the sick, the shut in, those that are in the hospitals, those that are on ventilators due to this COVID virus. In which we rebuke in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask you to remember them right now. And Lord, remember those all over the nation, Lord, that have been killed and wounded during these deadly shootings. And all the division in our country, all of the police of violence against black men. God, we turn to you tonight yes, Lord. and ask that you move in a mighty way. Yes, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you speak peace yes, oh in this country yes, against oh such terrible violence. Yes, and Lord, we pray right now that you move in a mighty way tonight. Yes, touch our hearts and our minds that we may study your word yes, and learn what we need to do mm -hmm. to please you as a soon coming king oh, in these last and evil yes, days. Lord, oh God, stir up the hearts and the minds yes, of those that don't even have a mind to serve you. Yes, and those that have become dormant. Yes, Lord, we ask you to touch right yes, now in the name Lord, of Jesus. Jesus. Stretch out your mighty hand right now. Yes, ask you to move, Lord, yes, in a special and a mighty way. Yes, Lord, we thank you for what you've done, for what you're doing, and what you're going to do. These blessings we ask right now in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for you this evening, and we're going to go into the Word of God. I pray that you have your Bibles with you. Uh, we're going to go to the book of Romans, chapter number 5. And we're going to read just a little bit there. I was looking at that today, and this scripture caught my attention. Uh, the fifth chapter of Romans, and we'll start reading at verse number three. And it reads, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. And patience, experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died. For the ungodly, may the Lord add a blessing to the readers, doers. And hearers of his word, call your attention to that sixth verse. Say, for when we were yet mm -hmm. without strength, mm -hmm. in due time Christ died for the ungodly. I want a little part there uh, that says, yet mm -hmm. without strength. Mm -hmm. Yet without strength. Mm -hmm. Now, we know what Paul is talking about here uh, when we were uh, without strength. He's mm -hmm. talking about 
when we were sinners mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we were ungodly. Mm -hmm. And Christ died to save the sinners. Yes, and that's what he said uh, in verse number 9. He said, much more then being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved mm -hmm. from wrath through him. Mm -hmm. So we understand that. But I'm looking at it from this perspective. Even those uh, that know the Lord or are Christians and have been saved, we're to a point or have gotten to a point that we are yet mm -hmm. without strength. Mm -hmm. uh, Christians today seem to be in a weakened condition. Uh, we shouldn't be in a weakened condition. Uh, the Bible tells us that uh, we should be strong. Mm -hmm. uh, we should have strength. Mm -hmm. And that strength should be in the Lord. Yes. If you look at Ephesians chapter number 6 mm -hmm. and verse number 10. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that. Look what he says here. He said, finally, my brethren, mm -hmm. be strong mm -hmm. in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm -hmm. And then he goes on to tell us to put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. So we have to be strong in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And too many people today are weak and weak in a weakened spiritual condition. Mm -hmm. Spiritually weak. Mm -hmm. Where we need to be strong. Our strength lies in Christ Jesus, but in spirituality. Mm -hmm. Not carnality. Not worldliness, mm -hmm. but being spiritual. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time for us to grow mm -hmm. and expand and not make excuses mm -hmm. for not living up to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Not making excuses for failure because we are trying to live in the church mm -hmm. and in the world. Mm -hmm. Look at First Corinthians, if you will. Chapter number 10. Just kind of uh, give you a point of what I'm trying to make here. 1 Corinthians 10 and 21. Look what, look, look what it says. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Mm -hmm. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Mm -hmm. See, too many people are trying to do both. We want to be Christians. We want to be uh, a service of the Lord on Sunday, but then we want to we want to be like the world the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. No man can serve two masters. Mm -hmm. You gonna love the one and hate the other. Mm -hmm. This is where the weakness has come. Too much worldliness and carnality have found its way into the church, mm -hmm. and it has become accepted. It has become accepted and. The church is not fulfilling her mission, mm -hmm. especially in this last day. Mm -hmm. we, we're not getting it done because of a weakened condition. Mm -hmm. And the, it, it's going along with the terrible times that we're living in. Mm -hmm. uh, look in the book of Isaiah. Let's, let's look in Isaiah and see if we can get some type of understanding here of what the Bible is telling us. Look at the 37th chapter. Let's look at that 37th chapter there in verse number 3. Let's see what we can get there. Look what, he said. look what he said. And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and of blasphemy. He's saying this is a this is a day of disgrace. Mm -hmm. This is a terrible time that we live in. Mm -hmm. Now we know it's a terrible time in the world. Mm -hmm. Look at what's going on in the church. He said it's a day of blasphemy. 
for the children are come to birth and there is not strength to bring forth. See, they're, 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 they're a Christian. They are sincere folk. They are folk that really want to be saved. They need to be saved. But there is not strength among the saints to bring them forth. That's a problem. That is a problem. It's a terrible time. It's a time that we're living in where we're not stable. See, you get back to, to, to uh, when the Lord talked, even in Revelation, He said, I wish that you were either cold or hot, but because you are lukewarm. See, because you're not either one, he said, I will spew you out of my mouth, vomit you out. Mm -hmm. This is this is not good. This is not good. Uh, the time that we're living in, we are not making our calling and election sure. And these are the things we have to get back to, not just going to church, going to a building, I'm working in some type of ministry, but that we need to look at our souls, our spiritual health, mm -hmm. our relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Instead of being on a board mm -hmm. or having a title, mm -hmm. we need to understand these things. And I think this has gotten away from God's people. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, 2 Timothy, look at 2 Timothy chapter number 4. Let's look at look. Let's look at this. Let's start at uh, the first verse. He said, "I charge thee, therefore, before God mm -hmm. and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at His appearing mm -hmm. and His kingdom, preach the word, mm -hmm. be instant in season, out of season, mm -hmm. reprove, rebuke, exhort with long suffering and doctrine." Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to get this. For the time will come mm -hmm. when they will not endure sound doctrine, mm -hmm. but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, mm -hmm. and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, mm -hmm. and shall be turned unto fables. Mm -hmm. That's the time you're living in right now. Don't want strong doctrine, don't want the truth, but just want to go somewhere where people make them feel good in their condition that they're living in. See, we need strong doctrine. We need sound teaching, not this cotton candy, candy, laden, scriptures, not scriptures, but just motivational speaking that is not helping people in the time that they're living in. We have to be willing to please the Lord. Yes, yes. And we're not doing that. Look at that. Look at that. First Timothy chapter number four. Go to first Timothy now. It says, now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, mm -hmm. giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. Doctrines is teaching. Mm -hmm. Doctrines of devils. Mm -hmm. Look, at speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's where you're living, you're living in now. Same thing. People just telling you what you want to hear, making people feel good, not telling them that we need to live a life that's pleasing to God. Yes. Man can't save himself. Mm -mm. He can't save himself. And you just getting so, it, there's just so much foolishness uh, uh, going on today. Even this uh, man that just won uh, the Senate seat in, in, in Georgia, uh, Warnock, he posted on Easter that the Easter transcends the resurrection of Jesus Christ and that men helping each other they're able to save themselves now what kind of foolishness is that 
where Easter, somebody saying Easter can transcend or go beyond the resurrection. That is crazy. But this is the time that we're living in. This is the time that we're living in. And somebody will go along with that. But it's not sound. It's not sound doctrine. This is a problem. You have too many immature, carnal people that need to grow spiritually. Paul tells us in the third chapter of First Corinthians that you have people in the church that are yet carnal. In other words, they should be past this stage. Mm -hmm. They should be to a point where they are growing and have grown. But Paul said they're yet, ye are yet carnal. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a problem you have in the church. And he, doesn't, he doesn't call them uh, sinners. Mm -hmm. he, just, he just tell you they're babies. Well, look at the scripture. Look, look at 1 Corinthians 3 and 1. He said, I, brethren, could not speak unto you as spiritual, but as unto carnal, mm -hmm. even unto babes in Christ. Mm -hmm. See, you haven't grown. Mm -hmm. They haven't matured. And that, that's where you have a lot of problems. We're talking about the children that are being brought to birth. But there's no strength to bring them forth. There's no strength in there to help them mature spiritually. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a problem. He said, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. Mm -hmm. For hitherto ye are not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. Mm -hmm. He said, for ye are yet carnal. Mm -hmm. So th that's a problem. See, you have to go, the, the, Peter tells us, you desire the sincere milk of the word. But the Bible tells us you get to a point, you have to start to ingest strong meat mm -hmm. or sound meat. Doctrine, mm -hmm. strong doctrine. Yeah. That's what helps you to grow. That's what helps you to grow. Milk is good for a baby, but as a, as that baby grows, mm -hmm. he has to be able to have skill now to use utensils and eat food. Mm -hmm. He can't just suck on that bottle mm -hmm. and continue to grow. Right. This is what we have to do. We have to be mature. Not not getting mad if, if somebody tells you, you there are things you need to straighten up in your life. There are things that you need to stop doing. There are things you need to turn away from. These are lives we should live for Christ. Or I'm going to live like I want to live anyway. Mm -hmm. the, the Lord knows. Well, the Lord loves me, yeah, but God ain't sin. Yeah. It's, simple, it's simple as that. Mm -hmm. So we're yet carnal. But we need strong, strong doctrine, strong meat. Now, as a, a, a grown man, if, if I get hungry, uh, don't bring me a bottle and then tell me that's going to that's gonna satisfy me. No. But if I'm going to eat a steak, I know i got to have a knife and a fork to cut it up. And that's what the Bible says. The Bible tells us we, we got to cut when that meat comes. The Bible said line upon line, yes, yes. precept upon precept, yes. here a little, there a little. Yes, yes. Break it down. Mm -hmm. See, that's and, and so we can get an understanding yes. of what the Word says. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't put a steak in front of a, a, a baby and expect him to eat it, yes, but a grown man can take care of it, yes, and it will satisfy him. Mm -hmm. And when you get to a point, we need that Word to satisfy yes, us. Lord. We need strong doctrine. Mm -hmm. We need strong doctrine. I can't. I can't. I, I can't just make it on, on a on a glass of milk. No, I got to have some food. I have to have some solid. And this is what we have to understand. What what, what saints need to understand this is what we need now. Mm -hmm. Some people are satisfied with it because they haven't grown. Yeah. But if you want to grow in the Lord, mm -hmm. this is what you're gonna need. Go to Hebrews, mm -hmm. chapter number five. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. In verse number 12. Let's look at this. It says, For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, mm -hmm. ye have need that one teach, teach you again. Mm -hmm. See, again. Mm -hmm. See, these are lessons we should have already learned. Yeah. You see that? Teach you again, which be the first principles 
of the oracles of God and are become such as have need of milk and not strong meat. Mm -hmm. See, that's what we need. Mm -hmm. Strong meat. Now watch this. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Mm -hmm. See, it takes skill. When, 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 when you know how to use a knife and a fork, you could, a steak can't do nothing with you. You're not going to try to take the whole thing and put it in your mouth, but you know how to cut it up. That's right. And enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That's skill. Mm -hmm. And we need skill in the Word. You don't have to have no skill to suck on a bottle. That's right. Zero. Mm -hmm. But then look what he said. You're not skillful. Mm -hmm. We're not skillful in that. For he's a babe. Look at 14. But strong meat yes. belongeth to them that are of what? Full age. Mm -hmm. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Yeah. See, that's what it, that's how you're able to, to deal with it. Mm -hmm. your, your senses are exercised to the point, I know the difference between right and wrong. Mm -hmm. I know what the scripture is saying. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get mixed up and it's going to, I'm going to rightly divide it. I know mm -hmm. when it's being taught to me, I know what is right and what's wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get caught up in the wrong thing mm -hmm. because I want to justify my evil doing. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. When I'm wrong, the word tells me I'm wrong, then what do I need to do? I need to repent. Mm -hmm. Get that straight. Mm -hmm. And then move on. Mm -hmm. Not find excuses to justify your wrong doing. That's true. That's why, that's why we're yet without strength. Mm -hmm. Too many people are too worldly. They're still living worldly lives. They come to get an emotional uplift on Sunday and go right back to that devilish lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That ain't no good. Mm -hmm. And people are going to find themselves at a loss at the coming of Jesus Christ. Because yes, we're not prepared to meet him. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. This is, what we're, this is what we're talking about. We need strong meat. Yes, sure. Why? Why do I need to be strong? Let me tell you something. The Bible tells us when I have overcome or when I have gained strength, mm -hmm. then my next responsibility is to help strengthen my brother. That's right. That's it. That's right. When I have been delivered, mm -hmm. then I just don't go for myself. Mm -hmm. Then it's time for me to strengthen my brother. Mm -hmm. Help my brother. And, and when I say help my brother, it's not just talking a lot of stuff to him. That's right. A tree is known by the fruit that he bears. Right. Life that you live. Mm -hmm. That's the key. That's the key right there. That's what we have to get, get to. You get to a point, as James says, because don't mean the devil's not going to attack you. He's going to attack you. Yes, but what does the Bible say? Resist the devil. Mm -hmm. And he'll flee. See, let him flee when you resist him. I'm not going to be sent there saying I beat the devil running and I'm so glad. No. Resist him. See, when, when, when Jesus was in the wilderness and he resisted the devil with the word, the devil left him. But the Bible said it was for a season, which means he's coming back. But still, he dealt with him through the word. And that's the key right there. He was skilled enough in the word. He knew just what to put him because he said, it is written. That's right. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's that's what we have to get to the point. So, th th there's a weakness there. And the enemy will exploit a weakness. Yes, the Bible tells us we're not ignorant mm -hmm. of his devices. You don't want to be in the dark. Mm -mm and weak and unknowing mm -hmm. trying to fight the devil. Mm -hmm. He'll tear you to pieces. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Sure. The only, only hope we have is in the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Strength. He will strip you naked. Tear you up. What, what, why would you say that? Because the Bible says it. The thief come not but to steal, mm -hmm. kill, and destroy. That's right. 
He said, but I am come that you might have life and that more abundantly. But then why are we yet without strength? We keep dibbling and dabbling with the wrong thing. We keep fooling around with too much of the world. The Bible said, come out. Come out from among them. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. We got to come out of there. Quit playing around with the world. That's how Samson got in problem. Mm -hmm. he, he, he kept messing around with these prostitutes, which represents the world. Mm -hmm. he, just, he just wouldn't let them alone. He he didn't he didn't want none the, the the girls of of his of his tribe. He want he want he want them worldly ones. And he got tangled up with Delilah. Oh, no. you know, and, and and she stayed on him till he told her. Bible said he told her all his heart, mm -hmm. and she used it against him. That's right. But it's just what she did. And then after he told her. Then what did she do? She shaved his head, put him to sleep, and that's that is that is a problem now. You got too many, too many Christians, too many saints. They sleep with their head in the devil's lap, just as comfortable as they can be. And she shaved his head. She shaved it, and then. She woke him up, and the Bible tells you that when he woke up, he jumped up and shook himself, as he had done many times before. Now, this is the same man that killed a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass, tied 300 foxes together, and set the fields on fire. So he jumped up like he did before, ready to do battle. But what happened? Strength was gone. Gone. And the devil made a mockery of him, blinded him. Hmm? Blinded him. And just had a good time making fun of him. And that's what the devil will do to you. He don't care how long you've been saved. He'll make a mockery out of you and destroy you and everything with you. But, even in that terrible, terrible, terrible situation, the 16th chapter of Judges in verse number 22 said, even in that time, his hair began to grow. Yes, it did. His hair began to grow. That means his strength. Mm -hmm. began to come back mm -hmm. even in that condition I don't care what condition you in tonight or what has happened God is still able yeah. your strength mm -hmm. huh? he'll renew your strength yeah. he will renew your strength yes, he will. he'll bring you back mm -hmm. now Samson, he had to die. He took he took about three thousand with him. Mm -hmm. But what happens with us if 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 we let the Lord renew us? See, we can kill out all that old that old man, that old lifestyle, yeah. all those things that will destroy us if we let it. Mm -hmm. But the Bible tells us God is able. To do exceedingly abundantly more than what we ask or think yes, according yes. to the power yes, that work in us. Mm -hmm. So this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. This is what we need to do. Yet, without strength, mm -hmm. it's time to get some strength. Yes, it is. It's time to be strong. Mm -hmm. Not just praying my strength in the Lord. It's time to be strong. Mm -hmm. Have power. Mm -hmm. Get the victory. Have the victory. Continue in this fight, cause this was like they used to sing that song years ago. It's a war going on, and you better fight. The devil ain't playing with nobody, and he's getting more outrageous every day. 
We got to hold up the bloodstained banner. We pray tonight, yet without strength. You know, I have some strength down to get some. If you got some, get some more. That's right. Pray some more. Right. Start fast and start believing the Lord. Right. And we certainly believe God is able. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you. Uh, if you want to see this broadcast or live stream, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel. Bishop Jonathan E. Locus. There you can find our Sunday services and our Wednesday night Bible studies. We certainly would appreciate that if you would. And if you will, join us on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. for our Sunday morning service. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can do that. Yes. You can do that if you want to. All uh, you got to do is uh, cash app, dollar sign, ministry, mm -hmm. M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y 2021, mm -hmm. dollar sign, ministry 2021. We certainly would appreciate it, and it will definitely be a blessing for you and a blessing for us, mm -hmm. and we praise God for you listening up on tonight we pray that you continue to follow the broadcast and we certainly pray that the lord will continue to bless you and until the next time may the lord bless you and keep you is our prayer <laughs>